Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. In this series of videos, I am going to be building, uh, setting up, and racing a X-Ray T4 specifically for USGT class. Uh, this is similar to VTA in that it's a, uh, a, a restricted class. Um, you uh, have to use a specific motor made by a specific company. Um, you're limited to a specific set of tires um, that are pre-glued so you can't uh, tamper with the uh, foam inserts, things like that. Um, so it, it's designed to create a, a bit of a level playing field. It's a more uh, aggressive class than VTA. The car bodies are more modern sports car type of bodies. Uh, so there's a, a better aerodynamic factor going on there, more downforce, uh, slicker faster, um, grippier tires, and uh, overall faster motor. So not as fast as like unlimited touring, but a, a faster class than VTA, uh, certainly a step up in performance. So um, that's one of the reasons I went uh, with an X-Ray. Also, I had never built an X-Ray road car other than the uh, Formula One car that I'm in the process of building now. I've got uh, two X-Rays in the stable now at this point. Uh, so um, I wanted to do a full build on that for you guys. Uh, and I, like I said, I will be doing full setup and tuning videos like I did with VTA. I'll be uh, taking it to the track and uh, racing it and showing you footage and going through the evolution of the car uh, very much like I did with VTA and like I'm continuing to do with VTA. Uh, and I will also be doing that with Formula One for you guys. So those are going to be the three classes I'm probably going to focus on this season. Um, I'll be taking my A-scale GTR out from time to time. I'll also be racing uh, Euro Truck. Um, but you can only focus on so many cars per weekend. Um, and so, you know, I try to kind of spread it out, dabble in, in all the different cars. Uh, and just have a great time with it. Um, if you bring too many cars to the track, it just gets hectic trying to get ready for, for every single heat. Um, so in any event, um, I'm gonna unbox this for you right now and I'm gonna show you the extra items that I got to go with it. Um, I just placed a few items on order, nothing fancy, uh, just a couple of different um, uh, a couple of different sway bar thicknesses. So I've got some, uh, some adjustability um, because very low traction asphalt conditions uh, you want to try to soften up the rear end so I got the two uh, sm thinnest sway bars and I got a uh, one size stiffer for the front uh, just so I've got somewhere to go in that direction because that seemed to really be a factor with VTA uh, was trying to eliminate uh, throttle induced oversteer um, and even just, uh, you know, um, speed related oversteer. Um, I want, I'd rather the car, I'd like to at least get to the car where it can push a little bit in the front end and then back out my settings from there towards neutral. Um, so I know the car is going to be very controllable. I like having a little thro throttle induced oversteer. At the same time, um, that's the kind of setup that leads to mistakes, that lead to crashes, that lead to losing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as in with so much in racing, um, being smooth, clean, and not crashing are the best ways to, to do well. So, anyway, let's get a look in the box. So, let's start with the kit. Okay, and as with all x-rays, you get a certificate of authenticity with a serial number and a validation key. They have excellent instruction books. Okay, we've got uh, outer suspension components, uh, out drives, drive shafts. body mounting. Um, there's so many 
tunable features of this car. For example, there are uh, three body positions, and I don't mean where you mount the body linearly along, you know, because that's pretty much anything you want uh, within reason as long as you've got space to cut holes. The body posts themselves have three different positions and that can affect stability and traction. Uh, it's very interesting the way they've gone through so much research. Um, so here we have some of our shock parts. Uh, the 2001 uh, kit is different from last year, which was also different from uh, several years previous. Um, they've really uh, lowered the center of gravity, shortened the shocks, um, made the car just very uh, compact, tight, and, uh, you know, again, very low center of gravity. Um, this is one item that I am changing. Uh, the center piece here, the uh, center brace, um, the stock size is 2 millimeter. They make an optional 1.6. Uh, that is for low traction conditions, uh, which as you've heard me say many times, uh, that's that's what we race in out here. We got lots of pollen, lots of dust, and we are on uh, asphalt with lots of painted lines. So um, that was one item I did add. Um, let's see, uh, swing arms, sus uh, swing arm mounts, and the uh, adjustment pills. Uh, here are our gears and uh, our drive gear, our uh, shock towers, belts, miscellaneous hardware, spring sets, um, differentials, uh, I'm not sure if that's front or rear, um, looks like we run a locker up front as well, there's also a front diff kit available. Uh, as usual, they provide all the fluids we need. Uh, and there's our bearings. Some uh, very specific hardware pieces. These looks like they are probably for shock absorbers, but I can't be sure. Front bumper, antenna tube, and one nice piece of carbon fiber. And... Uh, as you can see, it looks like we have an option to uh, mount our motor on either side of the car. I'm not sure what the benefit there is. I don't, it may just, they may just have done this for symmetry as far as flexibility goes. That's what would be my guess because uh, these are our battery mounting uh, points right here and they don't have those mirrored on this side. So uh, this would be our motor and this is probably just a symmetrical cutout to um, make the chassis flat flex uh, in an equal way. So let me throw all this stuff back in the box for the moment. I've also got a little uh, treat coming for you guys as far as painting goes. Um, I found a, uh, a nice website. It's uh, they're located in the UK. I'll be putting a link below. Um, I may actually do a separate video or two on painting to talk about this. Um, this company makes decal sets for uh, RC cars and they are reasonably true to scale. A lot of them, uh, some of them are older vehicles. They make uh, them for Formula One and uh, GT type cars. and. Um, I always liked the uh, the Jaguar silk cut uh, paint schemes. Um, if you're if you followed uh, uh, GT car racing, um, Silk Cut is a company in Great Britain that uh, makes you know uh, menswear, silk suits, that kind of thing. And uh, so Silk Cut was the sponsor of these Jaguar cars. Um, the cars were usually like uh, based on a purple uh, paint scheme, sometimes purple with white and yellow, um, and uh, very vivid colors. And you guys know I like you know bright colored cars for visibility. So um, I'm going to be running the uh, the Biddy Design uh, 720. 
body. It's a 10 scale GT car body. I'll go ahead and pull this out because I'm going to need to start masking this up if I want to race this weekend. But um, I got a, uh, a set of decals uh, for the uh, original silk cut GT cars. Now they look a little different than this in shape, but it's you know basically this type of vehicle-ish. And so I went ahead and got those, and I'm going to do the uh, purple, yellow, and white. It's mostly purple with some uh, white sections and some yellow pinstriping. I may not have time, or I may not want to put forth the effort into doing fine yellow pinstriping. <laughs> we'll see. Um, you know, it uh, just depends on how much time I have and how much effort I want to put into a body that's going to get uh, trashed, you know, over the season anyway. But um, I'll be using those stickers to dress it up and make it look as much as possible like a real factory car. Um, and uh, again, I'll make sure to uh, give you guys the link so you can uh, check it out. I'm also using um, a set of their decals for my Formula One body. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll go into that. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll do a uh, at least one standalone video outside of the build series that uh, focuses on painting for you guys, and uh, that's what I'll cover there. And as you can see, Biddy Design has our wing built into the uh, to the body right here. So we just trim our wing out there and trim out the little end pieces for the wing, attach those, and uh, bolt it down here onto these uprights. Um, I've had a couple of Biddy Design bodies, and I like them. I like the products they have. Uh, here's another interesting item. This is a tool I picked up recently, and I'm going to be using this um, along with a uh, another tool to uh, make sure that I am cutting my holes correctly to the right size for the wheels and tires. Um, this is a Yeah Racing product. It's about $12. Um, uh, I'll see if I can find a, a link to someone who carries it for you guys if uh, if you're interested in finding that. Um, so, uh, what am I putting in this car? Um, you have to run a specific motor. You have to run the Gravity RC uh, 21.5 turn spec motor to qualify to race in USGT. Everyone's running the same motor. You can't modify the motor or do any tinkering to its internals. So this helps kind of level out the playing field and give the average racer a decent, or even the beginning racer, uh, a chance at being competitive. Um, everyone's got to run a 2S battery uh, and everyone has to run a speed control in blinky mode. That's why I got this guy here. Uh, again, I've just been sticking with Hobby Wing recently uh, because I've got so many of them. I hate having to buy programming boxes, and uh, they they make nice equipment. I just uh, you know can't resist. And the price is right. Um, this is about a forty-five or fifty-dollar ESC. That's one of the things that makes USGT so attractive. Just like VTA, uh, a lot of the costs are minimized. You can't buy a fancy motor. You. You buy the $80 gravity motor that everyone else runs, and that's that. Um, likewise, tires, you've got to run uh, you know, the USGT approved tires. Um, they have a, uh, a little bit of tread on them, as you can see, uh, but not very much. It's mostly a slick surface. Uh, it feels like a nice soft rubber. Um, and I got a, uh, a good servo. I got a very fast uh, Reefs servo. It's the uh, 299 LP. It's a high voltage brushless. And uh, the, the speed on these is ridiculous. I think it was like 0 0.05 seconds. Um, and for a, you know, a class that, you know, involves a lot of quick turning and stuff, I thought it would be always good to have uh, the fastest server I could lay my hands on. Um, aside from the, uh, the top deck in the thinner carbon, um, the only other things I have bought for this car are a few extra pairs of springs. I've got a couple more pairs on the way. 
um, and I think I've got a total of four different sway bar thicknesses, um, including the uh, not including the original ones that come with. So I'll have about six sway bars to play with. Um, I picked uh, um, softer ones for the rear, for the front. I went one up from stock and one down from stock, and I'm leaving it at that. That should uh, keep me busy for tuning for the environments I'm going to be driving in. And a receiver, of course, and that's it. That's all I need to finish this off. Um, you know, even though it's a, it is an expensive kit, if I was building this on a three racing chassis, um, even if I'd gone with the, uh, the high end one at $250, this would be a very inexpensive project to get started in. I mean, you know, you've got to get a body, okay, say $30, but you know, $50 for this. Um, you, if you went with a, uh, a lower cost servo, um, you know, got a, got something that's got some speed to it, but you know, weren't going for, you know, a high end name like the reefs. Um, you could probably put the whole car together for under $500 easily. And, um, because of the way, uh, X-Ray has set up this, their new, uh, the new T4, most of the tuning is, uh, involves more or less screws used to attach certain pieces and uh, just like on the Formula One if you've watched my video um, there's a tremendous amount of tuning potential that's just built into the car you you loosen a screw and you move this piece you know up or down and you get a, a major change to handling um, instead of five screws you put in three screws and you get a much more pliable you know softer setup you want to tighten it down to run on carpet uh, you put in all five screws and, you know, that, that piece stiffens up the chassis and gives you a tighter uh, car. You know, the, there's very little that you need to buy in addition to the kit itself. There isn't 101 tuning parts because the car is designed in such a way that the, tune, the, the parts that are on the car are adjusted to give you tuning as opposed to, you know, like in the case of the top deck, uh, going with a thicker material or thinner material is the only way you could, you know, change that. Um, but there is a at least one point of contact on that that you can um, either not run a connection, uh, have a loose connection, or have a tight connection and give you three different levels of change. Um, and you saw a lot of that with the uh, their. Um, Formula One car that, you know, you could run a set of brackets they provide you uh, with two out of three screws. You could run all three screws or you could leave the brackets off altogether and have a, a much softer setup. And um, that, that I just love about X-Ray, that there's so much tuning available to you uh, without having to buy extra parts. Um, so anyway, um, Let's get going on the assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and please subscribe to my channel. 